it's our pleasure to really introduce here on the Mobile World Congress a new member of our Aeon 360 family. As it is always the focus from us to deliver the best possible user journey in the various market segments, uh, we intensively work with our strategic partner, Netlink, uh, to design such a new innovative and disruptive service. And it's a big pleasure for me to have Gary Wade with me from Netlink. We know each other since quite some time. Um, and I'm really looking forward, Gary, to hear how um, entitlement service can ensure the best possible customer experience. Great. Thank you very Thank much, you. Andreas. Pleasure. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I've actually been waiting two years to share with you what I'm about to present. And for those of you in the audience that know me, you'll remember I used to work at the GSMA, uh, where I delivered the consumer uh, eSIM technical specification. And believe it or not, nearly all of my career has been around SIM and eSIM. And that's going right back to the standardization of the original SIM card uh, a long time ago. Um, and so it was always my intention after GSMA to be involved in a company that would be developing eSIM-related products that would add value to carriers and customers all over the world. And that happened in 2021. Uh, when I met Emir Abelhosen, uh, co-founder of Netlink, and he's actually in the audience today, so you can have a chat with him afterwards. Um, we started working on something that was pretty special. And two years later, and through a strategic partnership between Netlink and G&D, um, we were able to bring what we created to market today. Um, I'm going to talk more about that in a moment. At MWC, you're hearing a lot about digital transformation. Um, and of course, eSIM plays a pivotal role in that. eSIM allows you to acquire customers wherever they are on the planet and whenever they choose. And hopefully, using a sign-up process that only takes maybe one or two minutes. And that's all really great. But what I want to look at is what's the experience like for customers once they've signed up to your network? and they start using their, fav you know, their favorite mobile services. Um, consider popular services. Um, oh, sorry, I've been, should be clicking this thing. Consider popular services like, here we go, Apple's iMessage and FaceTime, and also services like Vaulty and Wi-Fi Calling. What will these services be like? Will they be automatically and seamlessly provisioned? I've picked these particular services because I know it can take carriers some effort to get them provisioned today. And you want your customers to have the best experiences with their devices so that they remain happy customers on your network. Well, the good news is that there's a technology available today that is proven to dramatically improve the provisioning experience, and that technology is called entitlements. And I'd like to tell you how Netlink and G&D is revolutionizing the industry with a brand new approach. But first, what is entitlements and why is it essential to you as a carrier? An entitlement server sits between your customer's devices on the left here and your network infrastructure on the right. And it's able to tightly choreograph the provisioning and the in-life management of a whole suite of enhanced cellular features. And that allows your customers to get the best possible experience <clears throat> and also the widest network feature set uh, that they're using on their devices. And that's whether they're on iOS or Android. So the services that we were looking at er earlier, that means they're all available and they work straight out of the box, just as the OEM intended. So let me show you how an entitlement server works uh, with an easy example. Um, this is Apple's uh, phone number registration. Now, the device authenticates itself with the network using cryptographic materials stored on the customer's physical SIM card or an eSIM. And in return, the network sends back the phone number for that customer. And that phone number allows services like Apple's iMessage and FaceTime to be enabled. What's important here is that the entire process has been automatic and seamless. 
And not only that, it's highly secure, and it's more reliable than other methods, like SMS messaging, for example. Now, this use case is actually quite straightforward, and there are similar use cases for uh, voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling. But actually, entitlement servers are very powerful, and they're able to handle far more complex cases. Let me show you with another example, and this one's eSIM related. So think about upgrading your device with a SIM card. It involves you uh, ejecting your uh, SIM card out of your current device. And of course, that's if you've got the right tool, or you have to find a paperclip or something like that, and then inserting that SIM into the new device. And after that, you can transfer all of your personal data. So I'm thinking your uh, photos, videos, and apps. But wouldn't it be great if there was an easier way and of course, there is, and I'm talking about eSIM. But how do you transfer an eSIM from one device to another? Sure, the carrier could create a step-by-step -step guide for the customer to follow, I don't know, maybe using QR codes or something like that. But with entitlements, it's just so much easier. And let me show you how. This is Apple's eSIM quick transfer on iPhone. If your customer is upgrading or switching to a new iPhone, all they have to do is bring the two iPhones together and then follow the on-device instructions. And that leads to a transfer process that's incredibly simple. Um, the physical SIM or eSIM that they've got in their current iPhone is seamlessly transferred over to the new iPhone. And the important thing here is that this happens at the same time as all their personal data is transferred. To me, that's the perfect experience. There's no need for any QR codes, and of course, there's no need to have any physical SIMs anymore. eSIM quick transfer on iPhone, it, it transforms the customer experience, and this reflects well on you as the carrier in terms of higher customer satisfaction and retention. And with eSIM adoption growing across the planet, it's clear to me that eSIM quick transfer on iPhone is essential to carriers, uh, not only to enhance the customer experience, but actually to stay competitive. It's no surprise then that entitlements are becoming a key requirement from OEMs uh, to ensure customers have a positive user experience and they can use all the advanced services and features that are available on their devices. But you know, as a carrier, there are some challenges. And actually, those challenges are impeding the worldwide adoption of entitlements. In my research, I spoke with over 100 carriers uh, right across the world. And I spoke with those with entitlements to find out what their experiences were to date, and those without entitlements to find out why not. And the feedback that I got broadly splits across, across these four areas. The first is the time and effort for a carrier just to agree a commercial contract with a supplier. And this generally took several months, and in some cases, more than a year. And that's before the carrier actually got their hands on the technology to see if it was right for them in the first place. Then there was the deployment of the solution itself. Uh, most of the carriers I spoke to, they described it as a long and painful process, and one that they wouldn't want to repeat. The third challenge is the, the, around the sort of cost of ownership and the generally high upfront and operational costs that are simply beyond the budget of a lot of carriers. And finally, you've got the extra costs and the time involved to get your system upgraded every time a new use case comes along. And OK, while the largest carriers are probably able to accommodate these challenges, it just doesn't work for the rest of the market. And that's why two years ago, uh, we set out to create a brand new approach to entitlements, purely to encourage worldwide adoption in a very short space of time. We worked with Apple to make sure everything worked seamlessly on their devices, and we worked with G&D to bring a new product to market. Today, then, I'm pleased to announce that we've solved all of these challenges, uh, and the new product is called Aeron 360 ES. Now, Aeron 360 ES is entitlements as a service. That means it runs in the cloud, 
and it has high availability and performance right across the world. It's a multi-tenant platform, so it's able to host hundreds of carriers. And more than that, it can actually onboard any number of carriers concurrently. And you don't have to worry about security. Aeron 360 ES is ISO 27001 certified. All the carrier data is encrypted in flight and at rest. And it's fully isolated from other tenants. Let's talk a bit more about the onboarding process, because that's really important. You might recognize, or you've even worked with some of the companies listed at the bottom of this slide. What's special about these companies is that they championed a new approach, a developer-led self-onboarding approach. And we've brought that same approach into telecoms. You simply task your developers to sign up for a free account. And then you get access to the complete system. You can start integrating your APIs. You can even test the APIs back in the developer portal. And the developer portal itself was built by developers for developers, and that's the way it should be done. So that means you know that the solution is right for you before you agree to any commercials. I mean, isn't that the way all telecoms capabilities should be sold? We know this is the fastest and easiest deployment model available. And with the carriers that we've onboarded, and there have been quite a few now, they're typically able to integrate in as little as four weeks. So I'm not even talking months, weeks. You'll, of course, have customers you know, on both iOS and Android. So it'll come as no surprise that Aeron 360 ES covers both iOS and Android ecosystems. It's a one-stop shop for any carrier to get entitlements for all their customers. We've also solved the problem when it comes to adding new use cases. Given the success of entitlements to date, you can expect the OEMs to be adding more and more use cases over time. Um, eSIM quick transfer on iPhone is a prime example. With Aeron 360 ES, new use cases are added automatically as soon as they become available and at no extra cost to you. All right. All of this is pretty good, but it doesn't work unless you've got a great commercial model behind it. And so with Aeron 360 ES, we're introducing a model that makes entitlements affordable to everyone. It's a pay-as-you-grow model, which means it works for all size, sizes of carrier. There's no setup fees, there's no capex requirement, and there are no hidden costs. In fact, there aren't any minimum commitments. In the unlikely event that you're not happy with the service, you can just stop using it. That's how confident we are that it's right for you. We've designed a commercial model to essentially remove all the risk and fit any carrier's budget. Now, we were talking about eSIM quick transfer on iPhone earlier. If you already have an entitlement solution, there's now a new route to you to get eSIM quick transfer. And it's exclusive to iOS. We've created a new capability, and we've called it multi-entitlement support. Let me show you how it works. We're going to look back again at that high-level architecture diagram that I showed earlier. So your current entitlement solution, it carries on doing what it does today. So in our example here, Apple's phone number registration, 5G, faulty, and Wi-Fi calling. But look how easy it is to add eSIM quick transfer on iPhone you simply run Aeron 360 ES alongside your current solution. And intelligent routing within iOS actually splits the use case traffic between those solutions. It's another industry first. We should probably talk about the availability of entitlements now. Some of you in the audience might be thinking that you have to have an OEM partnership agreement before you can get entitlements. Well, I'm here to tell you today that is no longer the case. Entitlements is now available to every MNO and every MVNO across the world. It doesn't matter whether you've got 500 customers or 50 million, you can all get entitlements now. And with Aeron 360 ES, you can get it quickly. Now, we already have quite a number of carriers signed up, and the feedback that we get has just been amazing. 
Um, Carrie's love that much needed approach that we've taken to entitlements. It not only solves those service issues that we looked at earlier on, but it allows carriers to provide their customers with dramatically improved experiences. Here's a couple of case studies then. So we've got two degrees on the left there. They're an MNO in New Zealand. And actually, they were one of the fastest to get their integration done. And on the right, we've got Spuzu, which is an MVNO in Europe. And they're currently operating in three countries, uh, Austria, the UK, and Italy. I mean, it's very clear to me that in a world of digital transformation, those carriers that can provide their customers with the best possible user experience, they will win a larger share of the market. And entitlements is the key to providing that best possible experience, especially as mobile services get uh, more and more advanced. So in summary then, two years ago, we set out to make it as easy as possible for any carrier to get up and running with entitlements in the shortest possible time frame and in the most affordable way. It's a one-stop shop for iOS and Android, and it's available today to every MNO and every MVNO across the world. And if you're an Apple carrier and you already have a solution and you want, you, you've got an entitlement solution and you want to get eSIM quick transfer for iPhone, you can do that now through multi-entitlement support. And of course, everything's backed by a commercial model that removes all the risk and fits any carrier's budget. Um, so to Andreas then, I'm really proud of the partnership that Netlink has with G&D and the fact that we've been able to bring this revolutionary product into the Aeron 360 family. Um, if you want to find out more, uh, come and have a chat with myself. I'll be around here, uh, or Andreas, or any of the G&D team. We're in Hall 7. That's the uh, executive meeting area. Just come and see us.